What's going on everyone? It's KT Pop here, coming at you with another video. Today we're gonna talk about some of the most interesting inclusions in my collection. Weirdest ones, coolest ones, most useless, most useful, but I couldn't really figure out exactly what I wanted to call this group of inclusions, so I've just gone with interesting. There'll be some artists making a return from the first two videos, so if you guys haven't watched those yet, please go and watch those. We did a video on the best album packaging and the worst album packaging, in my opinion, in my collection. So go check those out. What do you mean, wait, I didn't do shit. <laughs> Obviously my favorite thing in an album is the photo card. The other inclusions, they can make or break an album. You get a lot of the same old crap, but sometimes you can get some really interesting, unique stuff. So that's what we're gonna have a little look at now. Another little disclaimer, I'm a huge multi-stan. I stand so many groups, I have so many albums and I don't hate on any groups. So all of this is just my own opinion. Let me know if you disagree with anything though in the comments below. The first thing I want to show you, I wasn't actually sure if I was going to count this as album packaging or inclusions, but I think once you look at it, you'll see that the inclusions kind of make it. So I'll show you, I've got two examples. So the first album I have here is Shiny's 8 album. And the reason I've chosen this one is because you actually get a board game that you can put together, which I think is pretty freaking cool. You have like the game board and then these these little like tokens that you can use to play the game. There was a whole joke going around at the time that these look like butt plugs. Some of them look more comfortable than others. <laughs> Which one would be the most uncomfortable? Probably the cube, right? Just like a really wide cube. Let me know which one you think. One, two, three, four, or five. Which one would you least prefer? <laughs> Put it in the comments below. So you can unpop these out of here, which I haven't done. And then there's a little base and it will fit in there. So you've got your little, your little counters. And then this next part, I'm actually not sure what that's supposed to be. What do you reckon that's supposed to be? All these little pieces, and then they go into this cube bit. There's different colors on the other side. This changes everything. So maybe they'll have different colors facing out. What is that even? Maybe that's like a dice. Bit of a weird dice. Let's have a look at the little uh, game board we've got here. It's got all the different butt plugs around the edge. So I guess that's where you'd start with your different counters. How you play this, I have no clue. I guess you could make up your own game. It's kind of like a maze, but it's not very difficult maze, is it? It's just, oh. I'm guessing you probably have to get to the middle and then you get hard. <laughs> On the other side, it's literally just lyrics. Kind of um, continues that game theme. I'm not gonna be able to show this now without freaking bending it. But yeah, you've got dice and oh, there's the little piece. Do you reckon that's the image of the piece that you're supposed to make? I hope not. It's like a puzzle. This comes with no instructions. So I guess you're just supposed to make up your own rules. There are no rules. Oops. I called it eight album, didn't I? Was it eight album or was it called hard? This is a re-entry from the best packaging video. This is one of the comebacks from Kingdom, part three, Ivan. But this also is a winner in my collection for inclusion reasons. Here's a shot of the front there of these two beautiful shiny albums. When you open them up, this is gonna be difficult to get this going the right way. You have a little board game inside. Oh my gosh, it's the other side of the game board. How cool is that? I don't want to put it in front of my beautiful face. When I first opened this, I had no idea what it was going to look like inside. And I was so shocked when they came together to make this pretty cool board game situation. Different colors here. And then all the different land forms are the different colors. So I think that's like who owns the land. So it's probably some sort of battle game. What's that game, Catan or something? try and like conquer land and stuff and make it your own land. What I, are the rules? For this? No idea. <laughs> they don't give you, they don't give you rules. Like I don't understand. Just put a little like rule card in there or some shit, you know, a little section to put your cards there as well. Put, you know, your bias photo card here and like fight to the death or some shit. So you don't even know what cards go there? No. These are the actual inclusions. The little parts for the game, not like the shiny one. I don't know what that like alien life form thing was that you're supposed to put together for that. But this actually has a little dice 
that you could probably put together if you wanted to. I don't actually use this stuff, I just look at it and then put it away. You get a dice in each version and then you get your little character cards. So these are the different members of Kingdom. So this is like a collectible as well. So you'd want to go and try and collect all the members. So you have, yeah, your little character card of them all so they can go around the board and conquer the lands. <laughs> but these are pretty cute. I don't know why it's got four bases. Extra stability. Kingdom fans are called Kingmakers. So Kingmakers have probably come up with their own rules for these games. And they probably uh, they play them to their heart's content on a Saturday night. All right, on the floor. I need another chair. I need like multiple chairs. Just be surrounded by chairs. Jesus Christ. You know what we do need? A bigger fucking table. Is it in the budget? No. If this video gets 200 views, we will buy a new table. It's set it high, oh shit. If this video gets 2 million views, <laughs> we will buy a new table. So I really enjoy those board game inclusions. I think they're pretty cool. This next one is from, oh. So this inclusion is from Zero Base One Melting Point Album. They're actually one of my favorite groups and I haven't put them in a positive video yet, so rip. But this is, I think, a mobile. It's got a picture of the member, a picture of a house, and a picture of a snowflake. And they're like perforated on the back. It's just the same, is it the same? Oh. Wow, fancy. The back of the house is different to the front of the house. Really spent the money on that one. It comes with these little string attachments. So you've got this and then little bits of string. I put them in a in a sleeve because I didn't know what to do with them. I just had like a bunch of strings just lying around. <laughs> <laughs> what? I thought they came in that <laughs> pouch. They didn't even give you a fucking pouch for the string. No. You're like, like preserving the string like it's a photo card. <laughs> I just didn't want to have string everywhere. Special ZB1 string. Yeah, you know, I could probably sell one of these in 10 years for 20 bucks a piece, a big bit of string for your mobile. But it was literally just like thrown in the album, like just a bit of string. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll get one out of this special pouch. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. The value, the value. Oh, it's pretty long actually. Good value. <laughs> <laughs> That's good string. Uh, so it's a piece of white string with a little uh, a little metal toggle at the end. So I thought it might be fun if we like try and put one of these together. Together. Take together together. Let's have a go, shall we? <laughs> what? She's going wild, she's going off script. Actually building something. Yeah, I know. Doing some perforating online on This is crazy that I'm defacing one of my inclusions. Oh. Anything for the fans. Oh shit. It says front and back, and now I don't know. We'll just check the way the house goes. Oh yeah, but the the member thing is no front or back. It's not like it's his face and then on the back it's his ass or something. It's just, <laughs> imagine if it was like his face and then he turned around his ass is there. Just a moon. Full moon. Oh God. All right, so let's have a go. So this one only has one hole at the top, right? But then the house and the snowflake have two holes. Boop. So that guy's supposed to go Boop. on the bottom. Maybe. I've never been good at crafts. This one's hard to poke out. Oh fuck. How come all the others were so easy to poke? Okay, there we go. So how do you reckon this goes? Can you see this? Two, two, one. Uh, surely it's gotta be the snowflake on top of the house and then the guy on the bottom. Like that? But then does the string go all the way through? Gotta go, yeah, top and bottom of the other ones. Right. Just got this scuffed bit of tape here. No, it's part of the pouch. All right, front, back. Probably the top of the house. What? Or the bottom of the house. Oh shit, the guy has to go on the bottom. He's going on the top. What's happening? <laughs> I don't know. How is the metal part the top? Is the metal part the top? And then you hang it like that? Oh, you think he's going to fall off. All right, let's I try. Fall off. He'll just cover them now. Doesn't that work, kind of? When he slides down, he's going to cover them both. Oh, <laughs> it's a disaster. All right, you know what? Fuck this shit. But there you go. That's your great inclusion that you can have. <laughs> so shit. Who would actually get this and be like, yep, 
You think people have their house decorated with these? This album came out around Christmas time, right? So I think what they're going for is like something you can hang on your tree maybe, and you can just have all the members like hanging on it. <laughs> How festive. And the, and the weird rendered house that you'll live in with them for the rest of your life. Your, your studio <laughs> house. <laughs> One bedroom. Oh, there's two windows on the back. Maybe it's a two bedroom house. You look at how big the door is. He doesn't even fit in the house. He's too big for the house. <laughs> He's a kaiju. A kaiju? <laughs> Godzilla. It's it's interesting and it's definitely unique, but actually this is kind of fun. Whee! Well, why couldn't they make it so that, you know, you put him in the house or something? Like, like a the, doll house. Like those optical illusion things. Optical illusion. Oh, yeah! That would be so cool, like you're like that, and then you can see him like in the window. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, that would be kind of creepy as well though. <laughs> Just out the window like, hey. This is literally going in the trash, like I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Okay. And now I'm just stuck with this, like this is the biggest waste of the Earth's resources I've ever seen in my life. I'm really enjoying throwing things today. Package up the, the strings. Thank God. Surprise, surprise, it's Key. I know you're probably sick of me banging on about Key already, but it's only video three, so you're probably gonna have to get used to it. This is the version that I didn't show in my best packaging because I did want to show it as part of the inclusions video. The first mini album from Key, Bad Love, and Josh has called this the cereal box version. Actually, maybe it is a cereal box because it's got like a track list here that's like ingredients. It's nutritional information. Yeah. So maybe it is supposed to be a cereal box. Old school cereal box. You're right, it is a cereal box. <laughs> <laughs> so the inclusion that I've chosen from this is this foil packet of collector cards. What I'm thinking is that, you know, back in the 90s when they always had toys and stuff in cereal boxes, and sometimes they would have cards. That was the best thing ever. Tarzos or whatever they're called. Are you game to Tarzo? <laughs> you get them in little packets, wouldn't you? Little foil packets or little plastic packets. The reason that I just really love this inclusion is that it reminds me of foil packet Pokemon cards. And when I saw this in the album, I was very, very excited. And I was also terrified to open it. Let's see how well I did opening this. Okay, mm, not great. I just really love this foil packaging. Inside, you got your little collector cards. Classic key concept, he just loves having these little cards showing all of his outfits because they're always super slay. The other version that we had, had collector cards as well, and it came in a cardboard pouch, which is not as cool as this. Like, I just think this is one of the best things ever. Creates a lot of nostalgia because we all grow up opening um, collector cards, opening Pokemon cards, so one of my faves. The next album that I wanted to showcase is Blitz's Macarena album. One of my favorite albums in terms of inclusions. I was so, so shocked when I saw all the different things that you get in here because it's super unique and they're a pretty small group from a small company. So to see something like this from Blitz's, I think is amazing for them. This song was such a banger, had the biggest hold on me. I think it was number six on my top played on Spotify for last year. So when I was in Korea, I picked this up and I was not disappointed. Didn't make top five, unfortunately. All my top five songs were songs that I learned the choreo for. This is a pretty cool album because it's basically a magazine for um, the group, like even all the advertisements and stuff in here, uh, all the members. So. One of the members advertising noodles, advertising golf clubs. One of the coolest ones is these sheet music. There's two different ones here for both of the songs that are in the album. So this was the title track, Macarena. And yeah, literally it has sheet music for it. Even with all the lyrics, I had no, have no idea how you would play this. I used to be able to read music, but sadly um, that skill has gone away. All cows eat grass. That's true. And what was the other one? Good boys deserve Good. fruit <laughs> Yeah, something like that. But yeah, if you wanted to play this on the piano, you fucking could. Macarena, Macarena, da da da, we don't stop. But yeah, I just reckon that's really cool. I've never seen it before. Or question mark. Oh, that looks a lot easier. Maybe I should learn how to play this one first. Doesn't that look way easier? It's in 4-4 time. Thank Christ for that. They're both only the, uh, what do you call that? The treble, the treble clef. <laughs> 
Love these. Um, I'm gonna start taking piano lessons again so I can play them. Probably not, don't have time. We're kind of cheating a little bit and doing multiple from here. The next inclusion I want to show from here is these really cool like little photo booth pictures. I think these are super cute. Obviously they're not unique to this album. Everyone got the same pictures, but they look unique, which I think is the charm. We've done a lot of these in the past. Um, when we go to Japan, we always try and do um, little picture, photo booth pictures like this. And last time we were there, we actually forgot and we were in the airport and luckily they had a machine and we did them quickly, but it was a whole fuck around. Cause I remember we didn't have like the right money for the machine. We had like a note and it wouldn't take notes and then we had to go buy something. So we had coins and but we managed doing it. We managed to do it. And it was San, Re San Rio, wasn't it? It was like pictures of us with like Hello Kitty and shit. It was they in the uh, last video. Oh, it was on the fridge with the magnets. That's a little Easter egg there. Um, yeah, only true fans will know. <laughs> <laughs> Unique um, inclusions really, they just add to the charm. I think Blitzers are a really charming group and this kind of packaging and concept really fits them. I will also just show something in the album because it's technically an inclusion. At the back here, there's these perforated pages. And on the back of the perforated pages, there's actually a postcard layout here. So you could technically tear one of these out and send your friends a little Blitzers postcard. There's also this thing too that you're supposed to cut out, but I actually have no idea what this is. If anyone has any ideas, let me know. What do you think, Josh? What could this be? For what? I just freaking love this so much. It's the best thing ever. And people who don't even like blitzes that much have bought this because of the inclusions. Like if that doesn't speak volumes, then I don't know what does. <laughs> I'm like, I love all groups. I show no favoritism. <laughs> this one doesn't go on the floor. It goes back on the chair. Tamin, <laughs> guilty. This is the next album we are looking at. This also was in the running for best packaging because this probably is one of the best packagings I've ever seen. But aside from the outside look of it, it has some really cool inclusions inside. So I thought it fit better with this video. As you can see, shoebox. Um, fun fact here about me, this is my shoe size. <laughs> I don't know if you guys wanted to know that, but now you do. I won't show you anything else about the box because that might be in a different video. Okay, I'm gonna choose my favorite inclusion from here because I have like 50 million inclusions in here that I wanna share, but I'll share those in a future video. So I'm gonna pick my favorite. <laughs> it's a shoelace. <laughs> it's a Tame In shoelace that says guilty on it. How random is that? I just think that's so unique. I've never seen a fucking shoelace in an album before but you only get one. If you wanted a double set for your shoes, you need to buy two albums. <laughs> I feel like that's a really common um, thread here, a common shoelace. <laughs> that's a really bad joke. Keep things sealed that you don't want to have unsealed or um, so you can have a pair of shoelaces. But I just think that's, that's, that's fucking wild. Oh, is that glitter on this? No, I think it's just glitter from my face. When you said that you were doing best inclusions video, I didn't think there'd be one string. <laughs> multiple fucking strings would be the best inclusions. Uh, so we have established that I like uh, paper, paper and string. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a simple woman. I'm a simple woman. Paper and string. The last inclusion I want to show you is kind of cheating but it's my video, so I don't care. The next inclusion I'm gonna show you is from a fanship kit. And it is Ace's first official fan club, fan club fanship kit. Ace Choice first official fan club fanship kit. Ding. Make sparkles on this. This is from a while ago, actually. Why is there no year on here? Anyway, I've had this for a long time and it has one of my favorite inclusions that I've ever received in any K-pop thing. So I'm gonna show you what it is. Oh, this is kind of cool. <laughs> Forget you saw that. It's this. I bet you can't tell what it is just by looking at it. Can you hazard a guess at what's inside the box? Chocolate. <laughs> Chocolate. Undo the little ribbon here. 
Ta-da! It is a wax stamp kit. <gasps> Have you ever seen anything like this in a K-pop thing? I don't think you have. If you have, then you're lying, unless you have this and then you're not lying. <laughs> I haven't seen a fanship kit that's this involved, but here we go. Ace has done it. You get a little metal spoon, your little candles, three different colors of wax, and then your little stamp. It says on here, I actually don't think I can read it. Ace fanship kit. <laughs> Adventure calling emotions, which is what Ace stands for. Did you know that? I haven't used it, obviously, you can, you can see that. Um, I probably never will. <laughs> I feel like it will be a waste, but then this is literally just gonna sit in my house until I decide to uh, chuck it out, which hopefully is never. I assume you light your candle, you chop off a bit of your wax, put it in the spoon and heat it up over the spoon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No, no, it's wax. Do you go like, do you go like this? Like you just press it onto there, right? Over the candle. And then you'll get like a little spoon of wax. And then where do you put it though? You pour it on whatever you're trying to seal. Oh yeah. And then you oh, like the instructions here say. Yeah. <laughs> How to use wax steel stamp kit. And there's actually an example here. That's what the seal will look like, I believe but I don't know if this is actually wax. I think this is just like a plastic version of it, but it's pretty cool. A little message from all the members. How sweet. So you could do the same thing. You could uh, take the postcards out of your Blitzers album and uh, write a little message to your friend and uh, put a little lace stamp on it. And your friends will be like, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you sending me this shit? It's fucking hefty. But fuck. <laughs> So that little wax seal kit is one of my favorite things I've ever gotten in any sort of K-pop thing. I understand that it's not actually an album inclusion, it's a fanship inclusion, but I did really want to include, include it in this video because um, it's one of my favorites. There's probably not a lot of these in the world. This first fanship kit came out a while ago and Ace are kind of a smaller group. So I think that this is quite like limited, which always makes me feel good that I have limited things because I'm a little magpie that likes shiny rare things. So that has been some of the most interesting inclusions in K-pop albums in my collection. Let me know what you think. There were some weird ones, some funny ones, some crazy ones, some really unique ones. So let me know which ones you liked in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in another video. Bye. I freaking love this thing. <laughs>